Skadush, Joy Moss of Bad Boy MTG. My ninjas, how is everybody doing? Great start of the week. It is a Monday, and we are talking about themed mystery crate, Commander's Fury. This one is uh, Mystery Magic Crates as well. I remember opening one, I think it was $200, um, a Commander's Fury crate. This is the smaller one. They're doing like, I guess, I don't know if I want to call it budget. I mean, $100 is a lot of money, you know. I don't think it's budget considered, but I believe it's uh, um, not the expensive one. Let's go with that. So anyway, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to also crack one open and find out what all goodies are inside. But here's an idea of what comes with this. Uh, D&D promotion, uh, they're going to roll a spin down D20. They'll actually record it live if you'd like to. And you can get an extra little perk out of that as well. 10% uh, of all revenue from Commander's Fury Crates will be donated to extralife.org. That's pretty nice. Uh, a donation is always awesome that any company is doing. Uh, this site is Mystery MTG, as everyone knows. Unless, or it's MTG Mystery. I might have that backwards. We'll find out soon. I'll make sure I verify that in the video. Uh, so what you'll get, two to four singles and three booster packs. They have a list of all the possible cards you can get right here. Holy smokes. Singles may be extended art, foil, or judge promotional edition. I would love to get my hands on a freaking judge. If we pull a judge out of here, I'll, uh, I'll crap, man. But here's a huge list of all of the cards that are in here. Force of Will, Force of Negation. They got some high hitters, man. Uh, First Sliver, Ren and Six, Banna Drain, Karn Liberated. Um, it looks like all the fetch lands, Misty Rainforest, you know, um, even Cavern of Souls is on here. Ur Ur Urborg, Uborg, Tomb of Yawgmoth. Uh, Urza Saga, this is updated from the latest set, so pretty cool. Um, or from uh, the latest, like, Modern Horizons 2 set. And then there's some premium packs that come along with it. There is a wow, there is a lot of good value in here. Like, what I hope we get something. Are this all the cards? Singles, maybe extended art foil. Is it limited to this, or these are the highlights? These got to be the highlights because, man, oh, I see Dobbins Veto right here. You could get a Dobbins Veto, <laughs> um, but a lot of value there. Anyway, we move down here a little bit and uh, we get up into the booster packs. Uh, pick, wait, what's it say? MMC loyal, loyalist pick. Only for long-term customers. Have most of the singles listed above if you know what you're looking for or we know what kind of decks you run. Oh, that's cool. So they personalize it for you. That's something not a lot of companies offer, so pretty cool. Uh, booster pack, see premium list, of course. Uh, one in four. Okay, we're just going to crack it open, I guess. Uh, sealed product replaces a booster pack or single. Commander Anthology 2, Secret Layers, Heavenly Inferno. So there, that's a possibility, too, right there. Let's look at some feedback, though. This person says, underwhelming. Uh, in the past, I have bought the larger Commander's Fury crate and have been impressed. In this crate, the much smaller $100 crate, I was very underwhelmed with what I received. I know it's a gamble when getting these crates. However, I was not ready for disappointment. I received a Mind Razor, Gitrog Monster, a pack of Time Spy Remastered, a pack of Ultimate Master, and a pack of Fate Reforged. All decent sets, but the pools were less than the packs. That happens a lot. It's just like a random thing, you know? So I do get it. He added up the total value here. Pre-release foil is actually $50. It appears Gitrog pre-release foil is actually 50 bucks. That's uh, Mystery MTG saying that. They're, they responded to Josh. Wow, if that's 50 bucks, I mean, I don't know what he's complaining about then. Uh, yeah. Or maybe. I don't know. I guess the... Yeah, he got his value out of it. He just wasn't happy with the pools. I mean, that happens, though. You know, you're opening booster boxes, man, or opening packs, you know. But a lot of really good feedback here as well. Uh, I'm a sucker for mystery boxes. Me as well. Uh, and this one was tons of fun. I got some singles I didn't need. But they are definitely staples for others I can trade to. And the three packs I got were, were packs I hadn't opened before and got some spice in them. Cool. See? So it's just luck of the draw. Let's get into cracking open one of these and see what's up inside. Wish me luck. Is it worth it to open or to purchase from Mystery Magic Crates, the $100 Commander's Fury Crate? Let's find out. I'm hoping to spit fire out of here, so let's see what we get. Let's see what we get, babies. Shrink. CF Crate 4468. How many crates you got, pal? All right, what's all this? We got some booster packs here. I'm really excited to see what 
the singles are, oh, I see it's a blue one. We're going to flip it upside down. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. There's our booster packs. Here's, it looks like there's one or two cards in here. Um, look at that. They sent this out. One, record your opening on YouTube. Five bucks. Free credit. Two, write a review on our Facebook and site. Uh, Facebook and site. Two dollar free credit. I might consider doing that. Hey, I am recording it. I want my five bucks free credit. Right there. Mm, give me my five bucks. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. So interesting. I'm holding your pack. What? 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 Well, everything you get is run through a randomizer praying to the RNG gods will maximize spice. Please repeat while holding your packs. Spice Lords, please be with the sh with shiny glory. I promise not to do any land destruction. This actually works. Okay, I'm going to try that. What do I got? Okay. So you got to hold the packs. Please repeat. Okay. Okay. Spice Lords, please. <laughs> Spice Lords, bless me with shiny glory. I promise not to do any land destruction. Okay, I did it. Then uh, we better get some freaking crazy luck. Okay, that that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, and just for anyone wondering the name of the site, uh, just to be 100% here, it is mysterymtg.com where you can find all this stuff. Here's our first pack. Swing! Oh, Double Masters. Hot diggity dogs. Let's get to cracking, Captain. I need some serious spice and everything nice. If, if I could pull just that card right there, I'd be happy. I don't know if we can. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, these do feel smooth, though. I like these packs. Different uh, card, different card stock for different packs, I swear. All right, we got Stockpile. Oh, Naganata. Oh, Naganata. Hidden Stockpile is cool, too. And Core Trapper. Okay. Reshape is our first rare. Can we please get a Mythic? Can we please get a Mythic? Magus of the Will. I swear, every time I open uh, Double Masters lately, I get absolute crap out of here, man. There's Apprentice Wizard foil and a Sarah Sphinx. Yeah, just a dud pack, man. I don't think reshape is worth much, so there you go. Our next oh don't be Amonkhet. Oh, it's Guilds of Ravnica. Okay. Guilds of Ravnica. You can get some shock lands in here. We're gonna crack that. Please be something juicy from the Guilds of Ravnica's. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. For a hundred bucks, man, we better get some stuff. Electrostatic field. Alright. City Watch Sphinx. The Shaman, Knight of Autumn. It's a played card, though, but not what we were hoping for. Boros Guild Gate. Okay, okay. Kind of crappy there. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ultimate Masters, please. Karn, be our saving grace. Because, man, that chant I just did, the little rain dance thing, that did not work. It did not work. We got Homunculus. Oh, boy. Vessel of Endless, right, uh, Endless Rest is our foil. Uh-huh, go on. Life from the Loam is a pretty solid hit, though. Okay, Life I think it still is. It was at one point, at least. Eternal Witness is good, too. All right, so we're pulling some value out of here. Mystic Retrieval and the old Stinger Fling. And then a whole bunch of commons to close around out. I don't think anything really too valuable in the common slot there. All right, what do we got? Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. Consecrated Sphinx, not bad. I wonder what that puppy's at now. Is that, like... 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks. It's up there in price, I'm sure. Open up, Daddy. Come to Papa. Daddy wants to open up a pack here. Get, 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 get. We want to see what's behind you. All right, let's see what's behind this this number. This this guy is that oh, that's dirty. Got worship. All right, not sure the value on that, but that is freaking legit. So we got ourselves a masterpiece. I'm actually really excited about that. Pulled a masterpiece out of this puppy. That is beautiful. All right, we're going to take that one. I do like Worship, too. That's from Urza Saga, where it first came from. So that's a really nice hit. Really nice hit. And the Consecrated Sphinx. So some decent value here. The packs were total freaking duds. I mean, I guess if I was like the other dude, I'd leave a two-star feedback. But, I mean, I'll give it like a four-star. I mean, we got some... I like the fact that we got a masterpiece, or whatever you call those things, you know, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh!, well, we got a decent hit here, decent hit here, maybe 20 bucks each, something like that. Not luck from the packs, but the pack value was there as well. It was about, I'd say, but just off the top of my head, like 80 bucks value. Could have been a lot better, though, if we would have had some nice hits. Life in the Loam was decent, I think okay. Anyway, um, my honest opinion, yeah, it's a crapshoot, guys. If you get really lucky, 
I'm sure you're going to leave five star feedback. If you don't get really lucky, you're probably not going to do that, you know? So anyway, that's what it is. Check out their website though. Again, that's uh, mysterymtg.com if you're interested in one of these. If you're into the gamble, man, this is for you. If not, oh well. Teenage crime.